global health security needs to be defined from the ground up and really uh, at the community level, first and foremost. So when we think of global security, that phrase calls to mind the, the level of protection the United States has from uh, infectious disease threats. But really, we need to be thinking about that in a much holistic, much more holistic way. And that's going to actually end up better for everybody, including in low and middle countries as well as the United States. So we need to think about all the work that needs to happen to make sure that uh, communities are able to uh, detect uh, a new pathogen should it uh, arise, prevent the transfer of, the, uh, of those um, or uh, spread zoonotic uh, transfer, transfer from uh, animals to humans, uh, be able to detect those and to respond. Um, and that's not just you know, closing the borders or something like that, but rather for communities to be able to uh, uh, have the trust in their healthcare providers, in the uh, clinics, in the community health workers, uh, to know that they can rely on them for accurate information, uh, for consistent and high quality services. Uh, because what we want to make sure that people are able to do is to get accurate information quickly in terms of how to respond to protect themselves and their family. Um, and that's going to actually further our interests globally. The other thing I would mention, global security means to me, is equitable access to response technologies. So that's everything from vaccines to diagnostics to um, prevention and treatment technologies. That needs to be available at a global level in an equitable manner. And that's actually in the interests of everyone.